The roof is open. A truly compelling JS on air for you today. A Wisconsin man shot down during Vietnam. His remains are finally making their way back home. And it is all thanks to a promise his best friend made many years ago. We're joined by Meg Jones in the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Meg, this is just such an amazing story. Uh, it is. You know, um, at the end of the Vietnam War, there were several thousand U.S. military members whose uh, whereabouts and, and uh, were unaccounted for. And to this day, more than 1,600 people are uh, military members in the Vietnam War are still unaccounted for. But the American military continues to go back to Vietnam and last year um, searching for these people. And last year they found um, the remains, which were just recently conclusively identified, of a uh, Lance Corporal Marine, um, uh, a Marine Lieutenant uh, Lance Corporal from Bayfield, Wisconsin, named Merlin Ray Allen. And um, he was in a helicopter on a recon mission that was um, hit by a rocket, and um, it exploded. And um, his family was originally told that everybody was was killed, um, but there were a couple of guys who survived. And one of the gentlemen is by, a name by a guy by the name of Jeff Savakol, who's from the Twin Cities, and he um, made a, a promise and a vow to himself that someday he would help bring his his buddy's um, body home. And um, fortunately for him, that's now coming true. I, I love the quote you have from Jeff here. Now I get to go and bring him home. That's part of the Marine soul. Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, there's the, the creed within, and not just Marines, but all of the American military, never leave a, a, a man behind. And so, and even though it's been 46 years, um, Merlin Ray Allen was killed in 1967, um, they're still going back to the jungles of Vietnam, and they're still trying to find these people so that they can bring them home and their families and um, the people that meant so much to them can have some closure and bury them back, back here, back home. Yeah, and for all these years, his friend has lived by that motto. Meg Jones, thank you so much. We will look for that. You can read more about it at jsonline.com. She'll have a couple pictures to go along with the story. And we have a link on our website as well, tmj4.com. Coming up at 3.30.